So, uh, we will continue. So, this is the schematic of our ECR triggering circuit. So, here we are. We have here a transformer. So, I'm using a 220 volts transformer to 9 volts output. I think this is 9 volts, so we'll see it later. <coughs> okay, 9 volt out, not output. We have our bridge rectifier here. And here we have another, again, uh, another diode. And then here, on this side, this is our uh, control to our circuit. So we have one capacitor here, a uh, filtering capacitor. Uh, no, no, this is um, this one here. So you go up here, you have, I'm using 5 volt circulator diode. I have one filter capacitor here. So this one goes here like that. This uh, one in four zero zero seven diode, all uh, four zero zero seven diode. This is our five volts regulator, <coughs> our filter capacitor, and then this is our positive five volts now output. So this is connected here. Yeah. Instead of this one, this one, I will remove this one. So it is connected here. So we have, this is LM324, uh, quad of amp, uh, I see. I'm always uh, using LM324, that is, all, that is all I have, so I'm using that all throughout this project. So we have here, we have one comparator circuit here, and the output of this one from our, uh, bridge diode is a ripple DC so we will use that ripple DC to for uh, we will use that ripple DC for our comparator we will compare that one with our signal from the uh, from our control circuit so here we will compare that one with the signal uh, with this control voltage here, 5 volts. This is also, this is a 10 kilo ohm uh, potentiometer. Also, all I'm using 10 kilo ohm, 10k. This is a 10k potentiometer. So, from here, you are going to compare this uh, ripple DC. So, from here, we can use this one as our timing only. Uh, timing uh, con. Uh, uh, control in order for us to get the zero voltage crossing of every uh, of every uh, half wave of this half wave of our AC supply so from here uh, you compare this ripple uh, half wave of that AC with some voltage level from here and then you can get the zero voltage crossing this is the most important uh, uh, thing here that we can get this one as our reference so it means it goes if we have uh, if, if this is our uh, ripe, ripple AC or half wave for AC we can connect this one it's ripple we will know this one we will know this one this are zero voltage crossing and then after getting this one you compare this one with another comparator so that <coughs> you can get square wave out from this ripple you produce a square wave from this ripple so it means the output of this one is square wave and this is our voltage zero voltage crossing but this output is a square wave this is the one we are producing from this input and we will have this 
square wave. This is the one we're after. The square wave. Because from this square wave, we can produce, we can produce uh, uh, the so this is the uh, the sawed so uh, so wave wave the sawed so wave because uh, the output of this one will fed this square wave. You are going to fed this one to your capacitor here, and then you can produce a square wave out from here so here yeah. you will be producing square wave here so this square wave we are going to fed this one to our comparator again in order for us to get the exact triggering angle because we are going uh, this is our 10k potentiometer again this is 10k this is uh, yeah this is a 10k potentiometer here how I 10k potentiometer so, oh, okay, okay take this <coughs> uh, like this and here you have you break this one you make this a 5 volt supply 5 volt supply and then it becomes uh, this is the potentiometer now so from here we can set a triggering angle for example this is your half wave half wave of the AC voltage for example you set a triggering uh, a co you, are, you are going to compare this one to a particular bird, voltage level within this much so you can produce a trigger voltage to your ECR this point so you are going to trigger the ECR at this particular power and if you are going to trigger this one little bit late okay for example you have a triggering here and then you delay the triggering delay the triggering trigger here so you'll have less power to your ECR and if you are going to advance the triggering here make it here trigger down so you have advanced trigger to your ECR so this is now our triggering circuit to our the output of this one is a triggering pulse to your ECR and we use a triac driver this is a uh, this is an opto isolator uh, triac opto isolator to drive our ECR this is called MOC3041 this uh, very good uh, IC for isolation going to our 220 volts because this is our 5 volts side here and you are going to supply this one to your ECR here so this is the trigger this is your 220 volts your ECR and then to your load and then go back again to the other ECR all right this is, goes directly to the load now to the power so this whole bit goes like here S something like that so if I will show you the uh, the data sheet of the MOC3041 that I'm using. This is it now. So this is how I made it. So this is the this is your opto isolator. So and then here this is your MO. This one will go 
This is the circuit of the Mose here, some triac, this is a triac. You like that. So it will trigger your ECR from here. It will go the 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 triggering uh, current will go from here to a diode and it passes to a 360 ohms resistor going to the triac going to the triac and then and then trigger your ECR here so this uh, this one this this uh, ECR will conduct through here going here here so your load will be powered and also the other side if the AC oscillation will be coming from here so this uh, ACR will be uh, still uh, in up state so here your triggering current will go here to your diode here and then at the same time when this uh, uh, LED uh, it's been powered on because uh, we have the timing uh, we have a triggering here now if this is uh, triggered at that time triggered at that time this one will lit on but you cannot see this one this is inside the circuit this is an uh, opto isolator IC lit on so this one will conduct here here going to this uh, 360 ohms and going 360, uh, 360 ohms and then going to your to trigger this ECR and then this ECR will conduct. I did not use anymore this resistor. I did not use this one anymore. I only use this one. And it is working. So we will continue with the circuit now. Okay.